here's the thing. Usually you see me wearing headphones because like the Macs are known for not having good speaker systems. Maybe they're trying to sell you the, the extra eye speaker if, it's, if that's even what it's called. Well, hey, little cannabis sticker I stuck on this here uh, hat that I just found. And you guys want to know why I'm wearing this hat? Let me tell you. I am not part of Delta Force, okay? <laughs> yeah. So in case you don't know, all right, everybody's always talking about the Navy SEALs, team, SEAL Team 6. Went and got <coughs> the CIA stooge, the Mossad stooge, you know, uh, that, uh, what was his name? Dude from Saudi Arabia. You know, they blame 9 11 on him. Fuck, I don't even remember his name, man. That's how insignificant that dude was, man. He's just some random dude with a lot of money. Pinky Waver, Saudi Wavist. Sorry, Reba stuff. Anyway, so you, you always hear about Delta, I mean, sorry, SEAL Team, and, well, let me tell you, when they really want to break out the big guns, it's Delta Force. It's a nice hat, right? I love that green and yellow, the Aussie flavors, you know. So I'm not in Delta Force, okay? I bought the hat for like 10 bucks on Amazon, but, um, here's why I'm wearing it. Because, I just seen these YouTube videos. Where, what's it called? Oh, man, I don't know. Basically, like, dudes that have been in the military, they spend their time investigating people that dress up in fatigues or military garb and pretend to be soldiers but aren't or never were in the military. And then they go up to these guys like in an airport or in a store with the video camera and they're like hey I see you were in the military what rank were you you know and the guy's all befuddled but you know he's like um um you know he tries to think what you know try to you know see but he, the guy knows he's faking it but he's playing with him and then Eventually, the guy messes up because this dude knows all the military jargon. What ranks come after what ranks? You know, if he says, Where did you? I went to Lejeune. You know, the guy will be like, Oh, well, who was on so and so street? You know, and the guy's like, Oh, um, um, he's like, Well, you should know that if he was at Lejeune. You're a faker. And then, um, it's called a certain song, and it's supposed to be technically illegal. To pretend you're in the military and not be in the military. And here's what I gotta say to that. Do you guys even realize how many people was in the military that, that you don't even, aren't officially ever been in the military? I mean, just black ops? I mean, come on, man. And not only that, but think about all the consultants. You know, the Snowdens. The, uh, the Mees. You know, I mean, I don't... I, I try to, I don't know, I don't really talk about my time on Marsock and whatnot, but you know, I was at the consultant work. I never went through boot camp, I never was infantry and nothing like that. And it, you know, anytime I had a gun, it was just like out of curiosity, like to hold it, feel its weight, you know, because it's interesting, all the beautiful marked craftsmanship. But, so like, who qualifies for faker? Right? And, I, and it's just stupid. Because here's where I agree with you guys. I seen a show where a dude pretended to be a military guy so he could scam women out of money. Because they like military guys, some women. That's no good. Go after them, people! But a father who always had this fantasy of being a soldier, he likes to watch the History Channel and pretend what it's like so he goes and buys some fatigues off of eBay he buys a couple ribbons he buys a couple pet oh that that's when they get pissed if you put a patch yeah they don't like that that's when you cross the line oh you, you got you put a patch. and they rip it off the guy I'm ripping that off you don't deserve it I mean, come on man yo it's, it's, you know what this is like this is like the DEA going after small time users and even small time peddlers instead of the big guns. Now come on man. 
But what's this say about you? That if you're going to take this thing on, that you target a father who just wants to see what it feels like for others to look at him in uniform and feel that respect. He's just curious. And you want to prosecute the dude and make him feel shitty. So he goes home and he's like, fuck the milk, fuck the soldiers. But come on, man, you are stupid. You are stupid. So this is for you. <laughs> this is for you. You're going to come knock, knocky, knocky, knocky. Hey, man, you was wearing a Delta Force hat. You ain't Delta Force. And you put a cannabis sticker on, too. That's disrespectful. <laughs> Yeah, because nobody in the military smokes ganji, right? Stupid, man. Y'all stupid. <laughs> anyway, I mean, to talk about social justice warriors, that, they don't, they, you're a social justice warrior. You're, what do you call them? Snowflake. All right, I'm done. I just had to, I seen the hat, I don't know, it fell. And I just, all right. <sighs>